My name is Jacob Spouse with Vital Health. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm a licensed social worker and owner. And today I wanna to talk about a very important topic, when to talk to your kids about substance abuse. So many people today are infected in America with substance abuse problems. We see the epidemics, we see you know vapes, we see laws changing, changing with cannabis laws and so forth. So first and you know, foremost, I think a lot of people probably get into treatment late. And what I mean by that is, you know, I work with young adults, older adults, and they always generally say, I wish I could talk to my younger self because I didn't know this was going to happen. And you're too deep when you get to that point. First, you know, a major thing is always education. Providing education is critical in this point. We all see in the show, scare, scare straight, you know, little Billy's acting up and they put him against a, a 6'6 inmate who's serving life just to prove that you don't talk back to your teachers. And we know some of these kind of make behaviors worse and it doesn't work. And the reason why you know a lot of this stuff doesn't work is because we're applying adult logic to a kid's brain that's not even fully developed. Adult males brain doesn't develop to age 25 a little bit younger for females because they're smarter and I think the most important part is we can never scare a kid straight like when I train my staff when we work with pretty big kids program is we love them straight we never scare them straight it just doesn't work just think about you uh, probably on your way maybe watching this video going to McDonald's and you know it's bad for you. You're making maybe not the best decision and imagine I just came up to your car and started screaming at you and telling you what to do. You're going to be like, get out of my face. Don't talk to me. I'm grown. I can eat McDonald's. I know it might be bad, but you're not going to stop me. Same thing with substances. The first step, my children including, is always educating them from a love standpoint. I would start around the age between five and seven when they go to school. You know, it's rare to see elementary kids using substances. You know, maybe they're or getting it from their parents or maybe doing this. Main thing is you want your kid to have the right education before their peers educate them. So education on the terms, kind of what it looks like, what to avoid. Make sure you tell a teacher immediately if you see this. Make sure you tell me because you want to start to establish that open communication where your kid feels safe to disclose something they see. If we just scare them, drill them, treat them like that, then they probably won't open up to you, you know, because we have that type of mindset and authority giving to them. Start educating them there. And a lot of times, kids operate what they see. Next phase, you know, when they're getting a little bit older, let's say they're going to middle school, is when you start to have more sincere, more... Uh, concentration more severe education around this topic talking about becoming addicted and how it starts and what you know more details what to look for as a parent you know I recommend you know even the parents in my programs is creating some sort of safety plan and what I mean is let's say your kid's six uh, sixth grade right they just started middle school and they're starting to go to parties and stuff and it could be even kids that you trust you know peer pressure is very hard for kids you know trying to fit in I can't imagine what it is now with social media and constantly have to be involved with your peers but creating a plan where if your kid uses substances or they're just around it where they have a code word to call you so you can pick them up we shouldn't punish our kids you know if they're kind of around these environments because they're trusting you to get out of it right they're telling you know and as a parent you can be very frustrated like why were you around this why were this but the main important is that they don't pick up that first one and providing some education about what the substance no young kid that I've ever worked with has ever said, you know what, me smoking this weed today is going to get me addicted to fentanyl. They don't see that. You know, nobody does. Nobody sees the damage. Think about it, like not eating healthy for one day, you know, won't necessarily affect you, but not eating healthy for 20, 30, 40 years that builds up and now you're at a certain place with your health, you know, you never put the correlation together that one day would equal 40 years of damage. Same thing with your children, providing a safe environment, opening environment, knowing where your kids are at at all time, knowing the kids that they associate with, and just having these friendly conversations. As they get older, really staying close to their friends, you know, providing more education of the damage. You know, they might understand, you know, if you vape, this is what happens. If you smoke weed, this is what 
what happens. We see a big trend is pressed pills and fake pills that they might think they're doing Percocets, but it has fentanyl. Again, we don't want to scare our kids, you know, into not wanting to do that. We want to build a kid that's so strong enough that they can't say no and never start that first one. You know, most kids in America go through the D.A.R.E. program, but we need to continue this education, make sure sobriety is cool. That is something to do. Things are always changing. Terms are changing. You know, we run drug treatment classes here and it seems like every week there's something new. These are the steps, you know, kids from elementary, middle school to high school, how to keep your kids informed. If you want more education on this area, maybe how to start conversations with your kids, what to do the first time you catch your kids, doing substances and so forth. Please leave a comment. My name is Jacob Spells with Vital Health. Thank you for tuning in.